All right, this is going to sound like questions we've fielded in the past because it is about variable speed pumps and belt generators. It is a new question. Okay. I'm thinking of upgrading my single speed pump to a variable speed Pentair. Current iClor salt system has an external timer which turns the pump and chlorine generator on at the same time. How will this work with the variable speed pump that has its own timer? If I want to run the pump, say, six hours per day, will I need to set the external timer to the same time as the pump timer, or can I leave the salt generator permanently turned on, and will it only generate chlorine when it senses water flow? There seems to be no way to control the generator from the pump timer. Um, so you can do one of two things. Uh, you can hardware the pump and get rid of the external timer that you're using right now as far as the pump's concerned. So basically, um, if, you, if you hardwire it, meaning if you bypass the timer when you wire in the pump, uh, that way the, the timer won't affect the pump at all and it can run on its own internal schedule. And you can leave the salt generator hooked up that way uh, to the... Um, uh, the external timer that you use on it now. It's just a matter of making sure those schedules are in sync because if you set the internal timer on the pump to only run six hours a day and you run it, uh, say, 10 to 4, but, you know, if the timing goes off on your external timer, uh, you know, whether it's due to a power outage or something else happens and, you know, it's telling the salt generator not to turn on until 5, well, It'll give it power, but it won't actually generate any chlorine or anything because uh, the pump will be off by then. Um, so you can either do it that way, just uh, meaning have the pump bypass the timer and only use the timer for the salt cell. Just be aware of possible issues like that. Or <coughs> the other thing that you can do is just kind of get rid of the, uh, the, the external timer that you're using now. Um, you can use it as a separate on-off switch, depending on if it's mechanical or something else. But that just stays on all the time. And then what you can do is the pump will have its internal timer, like it does. The uh, salt cell, the IntelliClor, what you can do is, um, is uh, you can hardwire it so that it always has power, but the flow light will be red. So it'll only generate chlorine once the pump comes on. That's what a lot of people will do with the systems when they uh, do a swap like you're talking about is just leave it so that the, uh, uh, so the IntelliClor only, um, so the IntelliClor is on all the time, but it only generate chlorine once the uh, pump turns on. That's kind of common practice of what I've seen. 